Hello, hello. It's time to start. Hello, Mr. Orellana, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Juan Carlos. How are you? I'm, uh, well, I, I'm good, to be honest. <laughs> Today, uh, I had a power outage uh, on my house, and I had to move to the site. <laughs> it has been a long time without go there, right? So it uh, was like a little bit way to me being there but <laughs> uh, everything um, was good i, I mean uh, i got to uh, do my task on there and the permissions to enter to the building and, and more <laughs> oh really so you had a different day yeah yeah yes different day <laughs> but it was a little bit uh, exciting in the in the like <laughs> I would like to go uh, like one day at least per week to see my uh, old friends, right? <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting. Uh, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, teacher. And what about you? How was your day? I say, well, you know, uh, a regular day, nothing special happening today. <laughs> a lot of work um, in the gym. Not much, to be honest, not much. Uh, teacher, by the way, I have a question about the gym. Uh, may you tell me why uh, are you doing exercise? I mean, uh, so many people have different like uh, goals, right? Uh, no. And uh, uh, in my case, I'm a little bit curious about uh, your your goal. <laughs> Be honest, just for kicks. I mean, nothing special. My the thing is this: my son and my wife they go, so I always take them, bring them back. I better stay there, so I do. I lift some weights, but I mean, not no big deal. Mm -hmm. Just for health, perhaps. Oh, got it. Because <laughs> I don't want to be like on tap, you know. That's <laughs> not my thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. And, and I, I mean, I I lift weight, but not that much. I mean. Like if I'm lifting chest, I'm just pushing 45s. Mm -hmm. No, that, that's a good uh, weight. Yeah. I mean, uh, some people maybe can uh, lift uh, the double, but uh, at, the, at the end is because they are trying to look like you say before, right? So yeah, it's really mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah, no, no, in my case, to be honest, some days I don't want to go. I just don't go. <laughs> yeah, you, you deserve I mean, that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not like uh, like some people who get addicted to it. I mean, in my case, it's just for health. But if mm -hmm. I don't feel like in the mood, I'm not in the mood, I don't know. What about you? Uh, mm, 
Uh, I'm out to uh, my workout sessions because uh, I don't have like transportation. And here the the buses, bo bus, ¿cómo se diría? Yeah, I forgot the buses, yes. Uh, doesn't pass to that wave. Oh, um, that's bad. Yes, and uh, the gym is a little bit far away, far from my house. So I have that difficult. I have been uh, without doing exercise like two months. No, no, oh. one, one month and a half. Mm -hmm. That's bad. But yes, yes that's uh really bad in my case because i i, I was uh, with the feeling to get my goals i, I bought a protein and i was about to buy another uh, products to get my uh, my my plan right and get the results but at, at the end <laughs> i just i'm here in my house <laughs> and working and it's a little bit uh, tiresome being here uh, because I don't know why <laughs> don't think bad about me but I, I don't like too much uh, uh, take the bus because I have been uh, still assaultado stealth no 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 Rob uh, oh Rob yes I have I have had a lot of eh, me han robado muchas veces. <ríe> Tengo yeah. esa suerte. <ríe> Rob. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can say Rob, you can say Mark. That's another way to say it. Well, mm -hmm. thank you very much, Juan Carlos, for sharing with us and welcome. Thank you. May you share the, the words you said uh, before? Sure. Thank you, teacher. Jose Wilfredo, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. So far, so good, teacher. Today was a, well, a hard day because today I got my new credential for other uh, tool that I will use. So I have to, I have to learn how to create some reports that are really important to us because those reports uh, are what we present to the, to the main client. So I had to be focused on that. Okay, well, the good thing yeah, is that you right. got them credentials and so that means you can work like normal. Yeah, that's right. So now is the, the hard time because I, I need to invest a lot of time to, to learn that. And I need to be focused too. Yeah, of course, you need to get up today with all the info, right? Yeah, that's right. So I need to be careful with that because those reports are really, are really special because have a lot of information. Really? Yeah, that's right. So, well, um, tomorrow I will continue learning that. Uh, yeah, when there's processes, it's very important to, to yeah. get them like clear, right? Yeah, that's right. So, but for the rest, everything good, teacher. So glad to hear it. So yeah, glad to hear right. it. And today was not a long day for you because it's Thursday, Friday is closed. Yeah, right around the corner. Tomorrow is Friday, and I guess that I will leave like 3 p.m. Oh, really? Yeah, that's right. Because You're it's gonna my check out earlier. Oh, yeah. that's cool. That's why. So that's really another good. reason, another reason to be happy. Yeah, that's right, teacher. But I don't have any plans for the weekend. 
but I don't know, something could happen suddenly and I could finish at the beach. Okay. <laughs> I mean, accidentally you could yeah. end up at the beach. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I like that attitude. That's nice. Yeah, that's right. Teacher. Hey, mister. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you to us. Let's see. Suleyma, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How's everything? Um, everything is okay. Today was a very good day. Um, I bought a pair of shoes for my son for free. So that's you both really for good. free. Come on. Yeah, for free because I paid them with my miles. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, that's the nice. price was $80. $80. Man, you had and a I lot. Get, yeah, and I get for free. I got them. I got them. Okay, that's cool. And the best part, my son is so happy. <laughs> I can imagine. I can imagine. Mm -hmm. He's get happy whenever we buy them stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How old is your son? Uh, 21 years old. Okay. Oh, yeah, you told me the other day, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's nice, that's nice. So you have a good day. Yeah, I'm so happy too. Great, excellent. That's so nice, so nice. Welcome, Suleyma. Nice having you Thank here. Thank you. Thank you. Anna Claudia, good evening. Teacher, good evening. Hello, how are you? Um, I'm, well, I'm doing very well here. Uh, yesterday I wasn't able to connect to the class because because of the sh power outage. <laughs> no, no, excuses, excuses. It was a power outage. What happened is that even though it, the, the, the electricity uh, came back, um, the power came the, back. And the electricity service was restored. If you are okay. speaking like that, Okay, the electricity services service was restored. I wasn't able to connect through the Wi-Fi. It no, wasn't the, working. You were the only one missing in the class. Oh, really? Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, for real. And due to the area I live, uh, my data is like unstable i cannot connect i don't have even when i send the whatsapp message e i had to wait like 25 minutes mm. uh, no, no. excuses excuses ah, but now we are here i'm kidding i'm kidding uh, no don't worry i guess half of the class maybe wasn't able to connect no to be honest just two persons were here really yeah, oh you and my. another one. Wow, I haven't seen the the the. Ah, and you haven't checked the video yet. No, no, I haven't checked the video. And on the other hand, in my work, well, um, uh, looking to find well to find that the best um, strategies because starting next week, Monday. Remember, I told you there is a decrease for incoming calls or purchases it's around 45 percent in all the company uh, because of all the things around but what happened is that the company took the decision that the service we sell the most is not going to uh, we are not allowed to sell it starting Monday because they want us to sell the expensive ones. So in their mind, that is the way how they want to achieve the goal, the numbers. Remember, those are companies, yeah. they have money in the, right, in the, 
in Wall Street, stuff like that. It's so numbers talk a lot. So, but what happened is that beside that, the the um, the other companies, the other providers, the competitors, uh, they are offering better prices. And Spanish people, they always look for the price. It doesn't matter if it's the best service or whatever, or they lost the internet connection in the equipment, they always want to pay the lowest price. So trying to find the best way I'm trying to run, I'm running. In fact, I'm running to achieve my goal until tomorrow. So I have nothing to worry because I, I think that's not the best strategy, but if they think that it is anyway, Understand you sometimes bosses they don't make sense, right? Exactly, exactly. And I had a boss, a boss in the past, uh, yeah, but that's but that uh, decision was taken for the CEO of the company. So, but I had a boss on the past on another account that he always uh, said whenever there were changes for the goal, uh, you know. It, it, he was looking worse. He always uh, say, you know what? Just take the plan, eat it and poop it. <laughs> you must find the way. Always you must find the way. So that is what we need to find in this case, the way in, in, in thinking, putting all the good vibes that everything is going to work. Yeah, yeah, understand totally. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got something for you. Uh huh. Instead of saying in fact, try saying like this. As a, As matter, a matter of fact. Okay. Not As loud, a matter. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. No, oh, thanks to you. Always nice having you here. <laughs> Thank you. Heidi, hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you? You know, same old story. Today was, <laughs> I mean, today was routine. And today was too much routine. So I was like more part of the day, you know. The thing is this, I have had a very stressful days the, the rest of the week and today was very calm, so I was bored. <clears throat> Uh, would you go to the supermarket? I haven't. I need to go to the supermarket on Saturday. Well, yeah, I'll try to. I don't know how I'm going to do Saturday. Saturday is going to be a very interesting day today. <laughs> As it is to me, every single Saturday I go. Yeah, but Saturday is going to be crazy. What about you? How was your day? Uh, it was great. A normal day. A normal day? Yes. Okay. You know, when uh, when it seems to be going to be raining, uh, people, I don't know why, but they don't go to the bank. <laughs> or when it rains? Yeah, I guess I always go to the bank when Everybody decides to go, man, it's crazy. <laughs> That's why I hate going to the bank. Really? No, I don't hate, to be honest with you, uh, I don't hate going to the bank. I, uh, I abhor going to the bank. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, really? Yeah, I guess you, just, you, I guess all your transactions are online or the greatest part. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's just that uh, horrible. For me, it's horrible. Horrible. It's Going because to the you bank haven't visited I, my branch. Most probably. Most probably. That's, I mean, 
that's a good that's a good comment actually <laughs> most probably because i haven't gone to your branch that's why that's why that's why you know uh we, how do you say this saying that says the uh es mal necesario yeah yeah it is yeah i mean no actually uh, it's necessary as you say it's mm. necessary going to the bank the problem is that the 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 bank i work with uh, they close the branch here their branch here in san martin so now the closest one is uh, by Alcavista. that thing gets so packed and everybody's there people from here people from around here people from over there it's always packed and I don't have a problem waiting. To be honest with you, I can wait one, two, three hours. But the thing is this, most of the time I'm reading on my cell phone and they don't let me read. They don't let me take the cell phone out of the bank. That pisses me off. Oh, really? Oh, actually, yeah, but in your bank they do. Yeah, we well, do. Last, we, yeah, we last got time, Last time I visited... Yeah, last time I visited, I remember that they do. You are mm. not allowed to take pictures or, or yeah, videos, sure. but you can use it. Yeah, but man, to be there waiting one hour inside, just looking at people, <laughs> that's boring. Yeah, I can imagine. Hey, come yeah, visit but, my branch teacher. Yeah, I will, I will, I will. I will pass by one day. Okay, I'll be waiting. Yeah, you know, well, you know, things happen by coincidence. The other day I met, uh, I met Ileana, you know, I saw oh, her. really? Yeah, she passed by next, right next to me. She didn't saw me, but I saw her. Sorry. <laughs> or really? I don't know if she saw me and she went like, oh my gosh. Oh my God, me. I never do that to church. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Last this last Sunday, she passed by next to me walking, and I was like, "Oh, I know that little girl." <laughs> Very little, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're going okay. to go like what? Like a customer of mine once. I said, "I think I've seen you before." I told him, and he said, "Yeah, yes, maybe you saw me in a movie." <laughs> Most probably. <laughs> Hey, Heidi, nice having you here. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. So, Yana, what about you? How was your day? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Well, my day, it's been great. I was, well, remember that I told you yesterday that, that I was checking some, the, this, this thing, the, my bus trip? Yeah. I was following up. Um, all the details and well, the plane ticket is ready. I just have to see a couple of details with the hotel reservation, but I hope that that I I I can be able to finish that tomorrow. And besides that, today was a very special day for the company. We had our, our 13th anniversary uh, as Claro that. Claro, claro en sí, como claro. And oh. we had free ice cream. Oh, and, a, and a Panda Express food truck. Yeah. And, and you didn't tell me. That's bad. <laughs> yeah. Everybody was like very cheer up. Cheer up. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody was motivated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. It's been a, a, a really uh, a very great great day, teacher. I could I could finish finish sorry a couple of another things that I that I have pendant from yesterday, but besides besides that everything was was great. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, you know, claro, oh, that I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, my I got a relative. Well, 
they don't work they don't work in claro they work by for claro yeah. okay they are, yeah i don't know the name of the company euro communication something like that like uh with a with an outsourcing yeah it's outsourcing okay yeah but i mean your company is big yeah it's huge <laughs> yeah it is quite interesting well you've been busy so your bus is going out yeah what you go, what's you gonna be doing that time mm, i don't know because when because the cat when... goes out the mice hmm, hmm. yeah i was thinking about tell him to uh, uh to sorry not to tell him to ask okay. ask him for a permission maybe the first day that it, that will be the, the day most um busy for him so maybe the busiest. busiest the busiest day for him so maybe he didn't even text me or call me because I I was looking the 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 agenda for 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 that day and it's going to be very 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 busy. So I was thinking about to ask him for a permission today, but I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Yeah, sometimes it's complex that thing of asking for permission, right? Yeah, because well, he told me the uh, the last December that. Okay, Ileana, I'm going to have my vacation. So take all the days, all the days, please, because I don't know when I'm going when I'm going to be able to rest again. That means if I don't rest, you don't you rest. You don't rest. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's bad. That's bad. Yeah. And but it was good for you. Yeah. I rest about a week since from from December 29 to January 10th. From January the 10th. The 10th. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really enjoy my vacations. But That's cool. since, yeah, since that day, mm, I don't remember if I, I've had another. I have had. I have had another day of vacation, but you know, it's part of the game, like you yeah. said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is, yeah, it is. Well, it's nice when the boss leaves sometimes, you know, one of my bosses is going to the States on May, and he's gonna have some meetings over there. He wanted me to go with him, but I'm not able to. Because I need to cover uh, for exactly the same week. I need to cover a couple of. I need to. I need to implement a couple of projects, and I mean those are set dates. So, uh, because we need to have meetings with some some entrepreneurs in the states, but in my case, I'm gonna have to do it like this, like video conference, because I cannot travel. Yeah. It's complicated sometimes. Yeah, it is. I I mean, from I wish I would have gone. It was with all paid. <laughs> but I'm not able to. Oh, sorry. Ileana, welcome. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure. Okay, guys. Uh, let me get attendance, please. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Alfredo Alejandro Sagasco Medias. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present. Danny Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancilla. Fernando Marvin González Martínez.
Francisco Eduardo Figueroa. Teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Eliana, Gis Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. Okay. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Ibeta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Present teacher. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Okay, guys, now, uh, I need to explain a couple of things uh, because I have noticed that we have had a little problem and it's related to the attendance. Okay, I will switch into Spanish just for a second because it's mandatory for me to do it. Eh, les cuento. Perdón, un segundo. Que es mi jefe. Ok, perdón, voy a ser breve porque esta es clase de inglés. Tenemos un par de cuestioncitas que necesito aclarar. Eh, estoy viendo que en el trabajo de la plataforma, algunos todavía no hemos comenzado el trabajo de la plataforma. Eh, para el día, yo preferiría que el fin de semana trabajemos, tendríamos que tener terminadas secciones 1, 2 y Mirta. La fecha límite es el próximo lunes, pero día de semana es... Un poquito más complicado, ¿verdad? Eh, la otra cuestión es con respecto a la asistencia. Thank you, Fernando. La otra cuestión es con respecto a la asistencia. Ustedes saben bien que Insafor nos pide el 80% de asistencia, ¿verdad? Nosotros en este momento estamos exactamente a la mitad del curso. Eh, les recuerdo que Insafor también nos cuenta hasta los minutos. ¿okay? No es el número de clases que usted tuvo conectado, sino los minutos. Entonces, eh, en un par de casos particulares, déjenme ver, sería uno, dos, tres, tengo varios casos acá, en los cuales ya el margen que tendrán para en asistencia será una clase o media clase, este, vamos ya bien corto con estas personas, me voy a comunicar directamente para comentarles cómo está la situación. Con el resto, en la medida de lo posible, tratemos de estar toda la clase. Si usted, permítame, ya va. Something else, eh, as far and as much as possible, if you can turn on your camera, please do. If not, uh, at least when you participate or for the attendance, do it. It's it's better. It's good. Okay, let's continue. Do you have any question? No. Thank you, teacher. No, teacher. Oh, good. Thank, no, you. teacher. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Oh, thanks to you. Thanks to you. Mita. I like it when I got Mita. everybody here. Feels nice. Mita, because that means. No le puedo contestar porque estaba muteado mi teléfono. Okay, no problem. No problem, Ada. I was checking your message. No problem. Okay. 
Okay, now let's see. I still got time here for speaking. Yes, I got a couple of minutes. Uh, just fast, uh, we are going to have conversation. Then we are going to finish with the PowerPoints that we were working. Just two persons sent me the homework. And I the was two from it. yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Your tea, two classes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just, I have <laughs> just two of you sent me the, the homework. Guys, when I leave you homework, I know that it's not mandatory because evaluators for, for approving the, the course is the platform. But when I send you something, it's because it's going to help you. And it's going to help me uh, checking out uh, where can I be of assistance to you. I mean, Teacher, but the platform sometimes is crazy. Uh, I was yeah. fighting with and the whenever, two point eight, believe me. And whenever and I, you have problem with the platform, let me know. With 2.8, Ana Claudia, it's very simple. And if you have asked me, I will have told you. The only situation is this. You use contraction in the condition or in the result. Not in both, not oh, full form. Okay. You just need contraction in one of them. Or in the, if you use the contraction in the condition, the result doesn't need it. Okay? Okay, I will try. Thank you. No problem. Okay, now let's see. Well, Cicero. Hey, Steven, how are you? Hi, mister. Good evening. Good evening. How's everything? Mm, I go so great. Yeah, a long day, but a, but a really good day. Okay, that's nice. That's the attitude. Yeah. So what time did you finish working today? Mm, maybe about... Mm, 30 minutes ago. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's hard, but what can we do, right? Nothing. Nothing, to be honest. Yeah. And uh, um, what time did you did your day start? Mm, it's depend, but I got every single day meetings, meetings at 7.45 a.m. Yeah. Every single day. From Monday to Saturday. So it's, it's obviously I had to wake up about 6, 6 a.m. Something like that. Oh, really? 6 a.m.? Wow. So from 6 a.m. to 8, 8, 30, that's a long day. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty long day. But it is necessary because I, I try to, to do everything I need. And it, it's really, it's, a, it's the truth. It's a long day, but I can't do uh, so many things. So I try to, uh, how can I say aprovechar? Take advantage. Sorry? Take advantage. Take advantage. Oh, advantage. Advantage, oh, okay. Okay, it's just this, look. Yeah. Uh, when you got T after N, it doesn't have a sound. Advantage, mounting, advantage. internet. Advantage. Mm. advantage. Teacher. Yeah. yeah? Eh, voy a hacer, lo, lo voy a decir en español para no interrumpir mucho, pero y no podríamos como porque a mí a veces se me da mucho el problema eso, pero me imagino que en, en el inglés británico sí podría sonar como lo mencionó el compañero, ¿verdad? Yeah, it does, but uh, the thing is this uh, I try to avoid pronouncing the, the, the British words the ones that I do pronounce like that I don't know why, well, because of my teacher because you are like getting into, I mean, most of you are interested in, in American English and or international English. Unless That's you are common. going to be working, unless you are going to be working in Europe, speaking in English is you need the British. Otherwise, I mean, the most common and understood is the, the, the American. That's the thing. So like, like uh, so in this case, it's produced better if you say, uh, like, 
manage, advantage, internet. Okay. So Leira. Yes. So uh, as we were saying still, you try to take advantage of, of the whole day. So when you finish, you finish. Yeah. Well, sometimes because the other day I remember you telling me that after the class you were still gonna do some stuff, right? Yeah, uh, for example, today I, I, I got a dinner, so I had to go out <laughs> after the class. Oh. Yeah, but, it, but it's not work. <laughs> it's oh, better. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's cool, that's cool. So you have, ah, oh, Steven's got a date. That's why. I wish I had. I wish I had. <laughs> no, 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 just kidding. I just kidding. No, no, but it's, it's something no, for it, job. Yeah. It's good to, I mean, it's good to go out. And the only problem is that the next day you're like tired sometimes. Yeah, yeah that's the problem. But, but we had to do not all yeah. the day, not all the time, but sometimes. Yeah, once in a while is good. You know, you go yeah. out and just kick it, have fun, relax a little bit. Kick it. Yeah. What it means? Kick it. Like kick, but here kick it. Uh, ah, all right. Spend, uh, pass the time. Okay, okay, I got it. Just to, I mean, it's the same like when I say, oh, you can just go out just for kicks. Uh, mm -hmm. That means solo for pasar el tiempo. It's a phrase over? No, it's a modism. It's a modismo. Ah, okay. Okay. Because it doesn't make sense. Kick it for kicks. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. I mean, but the idea that you that you give is like like you want just to pass the time, relax a little bit, okay? Chill out. Chill out. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's like you just go perhaps uh, stay there chilling doing nothing special but just spending out some time that's always good it's hell it's a yeah, for, it's for, healthy yeah yeah try to uh think on a, in another things not just in 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 yeah. a work something like that yeah in a job yeah, just to unwind yourself. Unwind. I never heard that Play, before. Get rid of some stress. Oh, okay, unwind. I need to learn it, and do that work in my life. It, it, does, it doesn't make sense at all. Yeah. Why? Unwind. unwind. Okay. It doesn't make sense, but it's funny. Wow. Okay. To be honest, on wine, it's exactly. I mean, it's to to. Mm, I mean, the proper translation is the same. Why? The mind. But also, also as a modism, is used to express relax after a period of work or tension. Okay like chill yeah it's like chill just that chill is more informal okay i really yeah yeah i mean you go you a friend calls you and says hey steven what you doing and you go like ah just here chilling okay uh, but then you tell your boss hey look Tonight I'm I'm going to go out with uh, with some friends. Uh, I'm not going to be available. I need to unwind myself a little bit. It's different. Okay. 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 So uh, it depends on with whom you are doing it because you're not gonna tell your boss and uh, your boss calls you and hey Steven, what you doing? And you what are you doing? And you're like ah you know here just chilling. Uh -uh, you don't do that. Not with your boss. Okay. Okay, okay, that's gonna be a problem. Yeah, it's just that it sounds too informal. Oh. Even even though Americans are informal, uh, they are pretty pretty informal actually. And how Not can people? 
what yeah. in, in Spanish, in Spanish, what gonna be the the equal? The equivalent. Yeah. From chill. Chill. Vacilando. <laughs> okay. You got it. That's why you don't yeah. use it. Not with your boss. But it's not, not formal. Yeah, it's too informal. And, and unwind will be like, uh, aquí un poco relajado. O haciendo algo para relajarme. Lo mismo, you see, para it's eso. different. Yeah, yeah. It's the same, but the context is quite different. Okay. Right? Okay. Cool. Because you. You, can, you can invite a friend to go chill out. You don't invite your boss to chill out. Yeah, you're right. See? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I got it. Okay, Steve. Nice talking to you. Me too. Welcome. Okay, let's see. And uh, do I still have time? Oh, by the way, who's exposing today? I am sure somebody is missing exposition. Uh, okay, now Francisco goes for tomorrow. Today is Mr. Jose Rivas, right? Yeah, teacher, but I will ask you for a chance to pass tomorrow. Okay, no problem. Perfect. So tomorrow is going to be you, Francisco, and Suleyma. So I will set the time for that. Okay, guys. Now we are going to work in groups. But what are we going to do? We've been too stressed doing the, 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 the conditional and stuff. And we are going to continue doing the conditional and stuff because that's part of the class. That's the material we are trying to cover. But we are going to, to relax a little bit, going back. Uh, going back to work in groups with those weird situations I always have prepared for you. And today I got um, a weirder one. It's gonna be quite interesting actually. Uh, okay, guys. If you have to choose between a wonderful romantic relationship that will end after only one year or a so-so relationship that will last your entire life, which one would you choose and why? You it's tricky, right? Yeah, I know, I know. I just love it. <laughs> I know that. I want to know which one and why, okay? You are going to discuss and I'm going to pick some people when you come back so you can tell me, okay? The Marylands are safe. They are like, oh no, I'm having both. They got it easy, right? But the single ones, we will see, we will see. Okay, guys, uh, groups are created. Please jump in. Complex, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, in my case, mm, if I could choose, I choose a um, a 
social relationships because I think that uh, sometimes in, well, in some moments we need to build in a, no, build or building, see, building. Build. Build. build to build um her relationship with another person uh for example when when you try to uh, meet new people you know uh, what are your uh, intentions intentions yes. so if you if you are talking with other person just for friend okay it's okay but if you are looking for a formal relationship i think that uh, you need to uh, respect <laughs> but uh -huh, maria alejandra what would you choose <laughs> teacher i choose that the second option uh -huh. <laughs> I prefer a regular relationship. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jose Wilfredo, you're in trouble, man. <laughs> uh, no, teacher, because I don't like to come to complex my life, I guess. That's good attitude. So, neither of both. Neither both. Okay. Why? Uh, because, like I told you, I, I don't like fight or discuss. So I'm really calm and relaxing. Whatever comes. Yeah. I mean, if, if things go okay, you are okay. If things are not okay, you just end it I up. go. Yeah. Cool. Like that attitude. Okay, let me go check. I have someone there. In my case, Hello. yes, Ada. In my case, I prefer the second option. Please, is there a respect and understanding, and I does no affect the relationship or the family? Okay, that's interesting. Hello, Luis. Oh, he's got problems with the microphone. Ah, okay. 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 We were discussing about, about this very complicated and meaning question. And Danny <laughs> and I are agreed that we maybe we will choose the second one. A social relationship that will last our entire life. Okay. Because yeah. we don't we don't want to 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 feel the pain after the breakup. Yeah, it's not worth it. <laughs> Living one year <laughs> very, very in a high level of romantic love and all the kind of things, but after that, <laughs> you will be suffering, <laughs> I don't know, by how many years. Yeah, so uh, I was telling to Danny that uh, I think that all, almost all the relationships, almost, almost, no, almost all the relationships, all relationships. yeah, thank you, oh. have ups, ups and downs. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Look, the thing is like this, when you've been married very long, uh, you have good years and bad years. Yeah. It goes like that. And I mean, you can look up your parents, uh, relatives, and the ones who have stayed together for too long, I mean, not everything is happening. And I mean, after a long while, I mean, there's love, but it doesn't show that much because people are so comfortable with each other that they don't feel the need to be showing it. 
even if they feel it. I mean, they are comfortable. They are used to each other. They know each other quirks. And as you say, ups and downs. Yeah, yeah but I mean, it, it takes time. And, and as you say, to have something pretty beautiful and then end it up makes you think like, well, then it wasn't that perfect because it ends. Yeah. It's yeah. complex. Yeah, you are right. It's a little bit complex. Relationships are complex. In no, general, relationships are cool. People are only. <laughs> yeah, I'm agree. I'm agree with that. <laughs> relationships. People are... is the one that gets People. crazy. People. Yeah, because I mean, relationships are simple things, but people makes them too complex. <laughs> I mean, relationships are very easy. It's, it's just a matter of me taking care of you, you taking care of me. Yeah. Simple. Yes, we feel more if, I, if I take care of you, of, of what you want or your needs, and you take care of what I want, what I need, I mean, you get an equilibrium because you know that you cannot give all and you cannot receive all. But if you keep on trying to give and the other person keeps on trying to give you, I mean, it's cool, it's nice. The problem is when one is giving and the other one is not. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. That's the thing. And that's when it gets complex. But it's cool. Let's go back. Okay. <laughs> uh, we get excited with these topics. <laughs> hey, ask, ask Maria Alejandra. <laughs> I will for sure. <laughs> <laughs> the one that I'm not going to ask is Roxana. She okay. gets mad when you ask. No. Okay. Okay, Let's get out of here. Let's see, let's see, let's just wait for everybody to come back. Two seconds now. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Who's gonna be first? Hmm. Where's Maria Alejandra, my dear? Hello. Hello, teacher. You're single, so I want to know. Tell me, you have to choose between a wonderful and a so so. Which one? <laughs> uh, uh, when I think that the, it's a romantic only for one year, I prefer that I have a so so relationship and stay more time. <laughs> Interesting. Thank you. Okay. Now, la, now let's go with the married one. Heidi, hello. <laughs> Tricky, right? Tricky. Your microphone, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, I was saying that I, I, I prefer a social relationship because at the end, all you need is a partner. 
Yeah. Quite an interesting point of view. Yeah, I agree with you sort of, sort of in a way. Yeah, you need somebody to, to be with stable, right? Yeah, and, and, and it's a social relationship. It's not a bad relationship, so. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah you are right. I mean, too romantic gets old. Mm -hmm. Being too romantic gets old. Do you know that phrase, guys? When I tell her that being too romantic gets old, that's a that's a a, a, a modicum for saying aburre. No, we were saying that romanticism is about a stage of the relationship. Exactly. That's why I tell you. I mean, being too romantic gets old after a couple of years. Because, uh, as you say, it's just a stage, just a moment. Mm. Thank you, Heidi. Now, let's see. Yeah, Eliana, your turn. Tell us. Mm, if I have to choose between a social and a wonderful relationship, I choose the social relationship. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you know, I was still in, in, in the in the old conversation in the little group that all relationships have ups and downs. So like we are human beings, so we are always in constant change. So the relationships change with time too. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe cool. that reason. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. Okay, yeah, I see Harley with a big smile just listening. Okay, now, now, but now I got another answer for you. And this is interesting. You stay just with the two options I gave you. That's another option, right, Jose Wilfredo? Yes, teacher. That's right. What's yours? Uh, neither above. Why? Because I don't like to get compl complicated. So if something is bad, so it's bad and I have to say goodbye. But when we say so-so, we are saying like, it's not bad. It's not too perfect, but it's not bad. It's, it's okay. Yeah, but I don't like complicated. Okay. Well, thank you. Okay, guys, now, 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 now. Now I got a different one, priorities. We're going to talk about priorities, okay? Uh, if you woke up suddenly because your house was on fire, you have the chance to pick three things, just three, besides your kids and pets, okay? We're talking about materials. You get the chance to get three objects. Tell me which one would you save as you round at outside, okay? Again, you go to the groups, five minutes, let's talk. Uh, then it would be my, my cell phone and mm. the other. That's the first one. No, no, no. The second one for me. 
first the money because you must have money to eat or to pay to move or to yes yeah, to purchase food uh, what yeah. happened i, I don't usually a, i don't usually keep cash at home so and that's, that's a mistake i have a good friend. well he's not no longer here at the country but he oh he's a uh how can I, is a military man in, in high levels and yeah. always he was telling me whenever you are you always must be communicated all and always you must uh carry with you money uh, because you need money to for food you can purchase uh a, a data for your cell phone and also you have to always uh, keep your mobile device because uh you need to communicate or ask for help so oh, i'm sorry just a question did i take the attendance no teacher no the second Oops. one uh, I will as soon as we go back. Let me go check okay. another group. Okay. Mm -hmm. Finish? Yes. Okay, let me go check the rest of the groups. Situations, we don't have like much time to, to save anything else oh no my cell phone is first <laughs> yes after that i will check if my family is no i'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no you said you said kids were already gone yeah right? yeah kids uh, yeah kids I mean, i'm talking yeah we are not talking about family members family members are out everybody's out you know like uh, i am sure like in your case uh, roxana heidi and me uh, we first take the kids out and then we look after ourselves yeah my cat <laughs> yeah i remember last time that there was a couple of years ago there was a, a little earthquake I woke up, took her, then went and took my son because he was so sleepy. And then I remember that I was, I asked him to get his sandals and everything. And I was barefoot because I was worried about him. That's funny. And that's the way it goes with us as parents, right? Mm -hmm. And but. The cell phone is first. Sorry. <laughs> the car. Yeah. Eh, cell phone. I got insurance. Yeah, the cell phone and your car or your motorcycle because you need to move. It will take too much time. Well, it depends on the fire. Yeah, it depends. But sometimes, uh, if you lost your your house maybe then you can sell your car and get some money and there's insurance for the house okay well i guess so i haven't checked the the, the paperwork from the mortgage i don't know if it covers fire does it hire do they do they what sorry when you get a mortgage, uh, there you always get an insurance, right? That's right. mandatory. Yeah. Does it cover For damages? Fire? Yes, they do. Okay. Some policies, you have to check your policy. Yeah, I will. Mm -hmm. I will actually will. Because yeah, but, uh, they're different. The yeah, thing is that when you get uh, some insurance, they say you or they tell you that the situation that they cover. Mm -hmm. So they always, they are telling you how you need to uh, death, como tienes que morir? Die. Or something yeah, like that. No. Yeah, yeah, no, but I'm talking about, I will ask my sister, she's the one that really understands everything about insurance. That's her area. 
Yeah, but I mean, anyway, I mean, it's just, it's just a house. It's not that important. People's first. Yeah. Check on my cell phone. The rest doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back, guys. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Man, and I have forgotten to get the attendance, the second one. So we'll do it as soon as everybody's here. Let's see how long. Couple of seconds now. Okay, let's see. And let me get the attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagasco Medines. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present, teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Juliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Present teacher. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Here. Suleima Ivonne. Moreno de Hernández. Present. Okay, let's see. Francisco, what are you going to take out? There's a fire in your house. What are the three things you're going to pick? Uh, sorry, teacher, I don't uh, listen very well, teacher. Can you repeat okay, please? there's a fire in your house. Tell me three things that you will take with you, that you will save. Three things. Yeah. Three things to, to look for, solve, solve the No, no, the no. Situation. Three things that you are going to save, you are going to take and save with you. Ah, save, ahorrar. Salvar. Sale. Yeah, look, the situation there is, is there's a fire, hay un fuego. Okay, okay. Sorry. So, mm, three things yeah, that you're going to save. Okay. Um, uh, well, the first, uh, I think, my personal documents. Okay. Uh, Mm. And the uh, other, I don't. I I I think the the, the most important is the life. <laughs> okay. In the, the, in the second, uh, the the with the personal document is because uh, after, if you miss on that document, uh, it's a uh, it, uh, it's going to be difficult to get them, yeah, to get them back. Okay, thank you, Francisco. Now, let's see. Uh, uh, um, 
Danny, what about you? Well, um, the three things I will say, um, first, um, my wallet for the IDs, uh, debit and credit cards. Um, cell phone and my cell phone and my computer. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. You are, you are very specific. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, one more, one more, one more. Uh, Ana Claudia, what about you? Hi, teacher. Well, in my case, I will carry with my wallet uh, because the money and the IDs are there. Then I will uh, take my cell phone and a third one, as my uh, other classmates mentioned, the computer. <laughs> okay, cool. Mm. Well, guys, you got bad the order. The first thing, the very first thing is the cell phone. <laughs> then comes the rest. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. Well, now, uh, if you remember yesterday, we were working with the, with the conditionals in the PPT, right? So, let me share with you because we gotta work again with it. Okay, let me. Wow. <laughs> what about with the sun? It's Friday now. Just some various missing. Yeah, but I'm trying to mute everybody. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's see. You remember yesterday we were working with conditional sentences. We were using this, I'm sorry. We're working with uh, unless or if, and we had, if you remember, unless he speaks slowly, he won't understand, we'll miss the bus unless we run. We did these exercises, right? Then we had a little bit more of the same. And we were working with this one, right? I wouldn't have got wet if I had had an umbrella. Unless you leave me alone, I'll call the police. If it snows, we don't go to school. If Jack hadn't helped me, I wouldn't have been able to move the table. Okay, which one was the homework? This one or this one? My oh, gosh. Sometimes I get forgetful. And I was just checking your phone works, would you believe it? Okay. Uh, uh, okay, this one was the one you were supposed to work, right? Yes. So. I didn't work for, yet for my exams, so I failed. One of the options, if I had worked for my exams, I wouldn't have failed. One of the options for one of your classmates was like, I would not have failed my exams if I had studied more. 
Okay, that's fine. You kept the meaning. But in this case, remember, you have to write the sentences using the second or the third condition and keep the meaning. So it's okay. Look at the next one. We have no scissors, so we can cut it well. If we had scissors, we could cut it well. It's the same idea, right? Just a different way to present it. Number three. He was late to work because he didn't take a taxi. If he had taken a taxi, he wouldn't have been late. Next one. Peter eats a lot. That's the reason why he is so fat. Okay, look at this one. If Peter didn't eat a lot, he wouldn't be so fat. Next one. She isn't happy in her marriage. Possible because he doesn't pay her any attention. So guys, with this one, which one would you use? Second or third conditional? I guess that oh. is the, let me see. Because I sent to you with the, with the second. Let me see. Yep, the second teacher. Okay. If he paid her more attention, she will be happy in her marriage. That would be an option, right? Yeah, teacher is right. I wrote a uh, very similar to that. Uh, that yeah, you got, yeah, in your case, you, you the only difference is that you wrote uh, happier. Uh huh. But it's Here. okay. Yeah, it, it is. And what okay. about with the. Um, Give me your option. Give me what you got. Yep. If he doesn't pay attention to her, she won't be happy in her marriage. Perfect. Yes, it is. The only problem is this. If he doesn't, that's simple present. That's first conditional. And we were supposed to use second or third. So your sentence was okay, just that in this exercise, they're asking you for second or third condition. Now, I don't go swimming because there isn't a swimming pool nearby. We arrived late because our car broke down. It was raining, so I didn't go to the park. William didn't apply for the job. Consequently, he didn't get the job. Okay, guys, the same as yesterday. I'll share you the image and you will have to make the sentences, okay? So the groups are open, please jump in. And I'm sending you the image right about now. There you have it in the WhatsApp group. Three minutes, three minutes, this is quite simple.
Let's put chicken boots. This is an important Uh, teacher, can I can we can use this one, the, the number six? If I had one swimming, so I wouldn't ha I wouldn't have swimming pool nearby. No. If there if there were a swimming pool nearby, mm, I could. I will. I will go swimming. I will. Uh, If the car, if no, if less, unless eh, ah, this the this the thing. Unless there, unless there, there is unless there, there is a swimming pool nearby. I think if there were a swimming pool nearby. Ah uh, yeah. <laughs> unless unless is there no is there where if if there were no unless in this case. Uh, okay. no unless in none of this. In none of this unless. Okay. If there were a a swimming pool nearby. Or nearby. I would I will I will I will go I would Yeah Yeah I will go I will go swimming Yeah why not? I will go swimming. If there were a swimming pool nearby, I will go swimming. Yes. Okay. We are right. We are right. right way because our 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 car, car broke down. Broke down. Mm. If the you know you saw what I just did if our car hadn't broken down if our car hadn't uh, hadn't uh yeah if our car hadn't broke broken down broken down we will arrive we won't arrive late I don't know. we wouldn't oh oh we will yeah. okay i'm sorry i'm sorry have a we ride. wouldn't we wouldn't have we yeah, will arrive Arrived, teacher, uh, past simple, the verb? Yes, yeah, simple past. Simple past, thank you. Uh, 
If our car hadn't broken down, we wouldn't arrive late. We wouldn't have. We wouldn't ah. Uh, or we wouldn't. Uh, always wouldn't. forgot to have. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, number eight. It was raining, so I didn't go to the park. If I if it I think there was a. If it hadn't been raining, if it hadn't, if it. It was raining. If it hadn't. This, this is with hadn't. the third conditional teacher. If it hadn't. Yes, third conditional. If it hadn't been raining, we. If it hadn't. We will. Mm. We wouldn't. I will go swimming if. I gave swimming. you some tips in the WhatsApp. Did you check it? Mm -hmm. No. I, I, no. Check it. Okay. I, I, I was saying if there was a swimming pool nearby, but you right if there were. That's an option. That's an option. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday I was explaining that the simple form for the the simple past form of the verb is where. Is where. Uh huh. Where. Also, oh, okay. I will go simple swimming form. if there were a swimming pool nearby. Yeah. Good job. Right. I gave you some tips on the on the WhatsApp group. Did you check them? Yes. We was working with unless. With what? Unless, for example, oh, in the lab, unless William no apply more. to the group, he will get the yeah, job. But unless was for the previous exercise. Okay. Guys, in the WhatsApp group, I gave you some tips. Right, yeah. teacher. I don't go swimming because there is- Thank you, teacher. Nearby. 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 Uh -huh. If there were a swimming pool nearby. I gave you some Mister. tips in the WhatsApp group. Did you check them? Yeah, we were checking them. Okay, perfect, because the time is almost over for this exercise. Yeah. Just 60 seconds. Okay. If you finish, we can go back.
Let's see, guys. Let me share with you again so we can do the exercise together. Okay, so let's see. We got it like this. I don't go swimming because there isn't a swimming pool nearby. If there were, a swimming pool nearby, I will go swimming. If you remember here, where, why are we using where in, instead of was, it's singular. Oh, because if you remember, I was telling you the other day that whenever you got here, the if you are talking about the subjunctive. And what is the subjunctive? It's something that is contrary to fact. In this case, you need, it's mandatory, the simple past of the verb. The verb is the verb be. If you remember, am, is, are, is just a conjugation. So the simple past form of the verb be is where. That's why we got here. If there were a swimming pool nearby, I will go swimming. Next one, we arrive late because our car broke down. Eliana, what you got? If our car hadn't broken down, we wouldn't have arrived late. If our car hadn't broken down, we wouldn't have arrived late. Perfect. Let's see. And... Teacher, I have a question. So there is no problem if we have two negatives sentences in this case no because oh, okay. remember that happened if we started with unless but here we are not using unless uh -huh. no more okay okay right okay. Mm -hmm. when we have the unless yes the sentence should have been affirmative because unless expresses a negative idea mm -hmm. okay got it thank you Okay, so next one. It was raining, so I didn't go to the park. Uh, Heidi, tell me. If it wouldn't have been raining, I'd go to the park. I'd, I would have gone to the park. If it hadn't been raining, I would have gone to the park. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Now let's see, Jose Wilfredo, number nine. Let me say the truth. Just, I don't know, <laughs> it's a smaller. Okay, now, number nine. Yeah. William didn't apply for the job, consequently he didn't get the job. Uh -huh. Um William didn't apply for the job. Let me see, let me see. Oh, I gave you a tip. Look at this. If William had applied for the job, he couldn't he will have got he will have got it. It also could be, teacher, if William had applied for the job, he will have gotten. Gotten it, yeah, sure. You can say it like that. I was explaining yesterday that you can use got or gotten. Okay, now let's see. Next exercise. We got this. I didn't have enough money, so I couldn't buy a new car. They speak French to her. 
not English, so her English doesn't improve. My number isn't in the directory, so people don't telephone me. I'm fat. That's why I can get through the bathroom window. I can drive, so we can take the car. Okay, let's see. I'll give you an idea of the first one. I didn't have enough money, so I couldn't buy a new car. If I had had enough money, I could have bought a new car. You see, quite simple. But the idea is you doing it. So again, I'm gonna send you to the groups, I'm gonna send you the screenshot, and I'm gonna send you the condition so you can just work on the result, okay? That way we will go faster. Okay, groups are open. Hello, Lena. Hello, teacher. They left you alone? Yeah. Danny. I don't know what happened with Danny. Oh, due to a mistake, Danny went to another group. Ah. It's just that he was out and I just bring it in and send it to another send him to another you group. Left, but <laughs> you left me alone. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. Okay. I'll send you to another group right now, okay? Mm -hmm. It's okay. The idea is for you to participate with your classmates. Let's see, you will go with Ramon and Francisco. Okay, thank you. My pleasure. Finish, guys. 
Yes, teacher. Cool. Yep. Because there's just 60 seconds in this, and then we go back to the main one. It's kind of weird, this exercise, right? Not weird, but a little bit complex because you need to be checking and deciding. So groups are closed. If you want, you can go back right now to the main room. Thank you, teacher. Look, they speak French to her, not English. So her English doesn't improve. If they spoke English to her, her English would improve. Okay. Answer. You can they also say use... how improve. Yeah. If they have spoken English to her, her English will have improve sounds better right yep yes. yeah. for you just have in the in the second part we we need to use how in the first part yeah you need to use how here okay my number isn't in the directory so people don't telephone me if my number were in the directory people would phone me right I'm fat. That's why I can get through the bathroom window. If I weren't so fat, I could get through the bathroom window. <laughs> yeah. I can drive, so we can't take the car. I can't drive, so we can't take the car. If I could drive, we could take the car. Simple, right? Okay, I still got tomorrow's slides. We are going to work tomorrow, but we are going to work them a little bit different. Okay, the same exercise, but we are going to do it here, everybody together. It's going to be interesting. But before we go, because there's still time, hey, there's Irene. Okay. Now let's go back to the weird questions. Let's see, let's see. Fernando. Yes, teacher. Okay, Fernando, you are walking down the street. And what will happen if you saw someone in public with toilet papers to stuck to their shoe? Would you tell them? 
Uh, sorry, teacher, I, I, I don't follow you. Okay. Look at that yeah, question. The, the first, I, I understand the first part. Did you so someone put with toilet paper to, to the issue? Oh, only I don't understand the, the, the question. <laughs> Uh, yes, I will. I will tell him, or I will tell them. I will tell him or her. Yeah, I will tell him, teacher. I will tell him. All right. <laughs> we need to help to others. Okay. And Perfect. You know, but only in the in the in the number. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Now, this one is quite interesting. Let's see who's it gonna be. Hmm. Irene. Hello, teacher. Okay, Irene. If you could only see three people for the rest of your life, who would it be? Mm, my parents. Uh-huh, that's two. One more. Okay. And my grandma. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Now, let's see. Eliana, what about you? If you could only see three people for the rest of your life, who would it be? My mom, my dad. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. I, I don't know, because I have a brother and a sister, which is okay. my favorite. I'm um, just kidding. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you are me. No, um, maybe my grandma too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we are going to go to some existential questions. I mean, pretty deep issue. Let's see who is got this one. Marcos. Okay. Okay, Marcos. What if your cell phone fell in the toilet? What would you do? Mm, pick it up so fast as I can. <laughs> pick it up as fast as you can. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. What a question, teacher. <laughs> oh, Heidi. Got a, I got one for you. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Heidi, imagine that you are sleeping peacefully in bed. It's a Sunday. Your kids, uh, your sister took your kids for a sleepover. So you are on your own home. It's like 9 a.m. You are sleeping late. But if you woke up in bed and saw a huge spider walking over you, what would you do? I'll kill the spider and continue sleeping. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just love your answer. That's so cool. You just kill the spider and keep and keep on sleeping. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see. This one is quite interesting. So I'm trying to decide to whom. Hey, Steven, I got one for you. Okay, I listened. Okay, well, better check it out in the Zoom chat. If you could neglect one personal hygiene routine, shaving, brushing your teeth, cutting your nails, without, without any adverse effect to your image or health. So there's not a bad effect. What would you choose? Mm, yeah. First of all, what it means, neglect. Neglect. Mm. I don't know how to say that in Spanish. An example? An example? Neglect. When, neglect. You, 
when you uh, descuidar, descuidar, that would be. <laughs> okay, okay. Let, let me read the question again. Um, if I if I could neglect one personal hygiene routine, shaving, brushing, maybe shaving my my beard because I don't have I don't have one, <laughs> so I, I don't have problem with this one. <laughs> Okay, so that one's not a problem for you. Okay, perfect, yeah. perfect. Now let's now let's see a lady. Anna Claudia, you've been too quiet. What about you? Oh my god. One of my oh, the same question. Yeah, the same question. This is the most deepest one. Shaving because I don't shave myself. <laughs> I mean oh, I use another technique, not shaving. <laughs> Ouch. I mean, no. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I don't no have, comments. I'm just thinking in my legs, for example, I don't have any, how say say? You think of it. Hair, You're saying, body hair. Uh-huh, I don't have. Body hair, that's the body word. Body hair, ah, okay. I don't have body hair, so okay. I don't have problem with that. Yeah, because I have seen girls uh, taking their hairs yes, uh, my out best of their armpits. Outfit. Uh, out of the armpits, man, when you wax them, that thing ah, hurts. Hey, teacher, how do you say, uh, for example, uh, depilar las axilas? Wax, wax. Wax. Ah, okay. Man. Okay. Oh. And axilas is armpits. Arm. Ah, oh, armpit. armpit. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see, let's see. Suleima. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Ramon, Ramon has been quiet tonight. Are you around? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. The same question for you. If you could neglect one personal hygiene routine, shaving, brushing your teeth, cutting your nails, without any adverse effect to your image or health, what would you choose? Okay. Um, I think... See, it is uh, very difficult to choose. Cut <laughs> engineers, uh, I think. Interesting, quite interesting. Okay, guys, it was fun this last part. And let me get the final attendance because I wasn't paying attention to the time. I'm so sorry. We are over time right now. Okay. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagasto Medinas. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancina. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero Rivas. Present. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Irina Susana Cuellar Aldanés. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you. And thank you. Eh, José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present, teacher. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellano. Roxana Iveda, Asensio de Mejía. 
Yes, sir. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Here, sir. Suleyma Ivon Moreno Hernández. Thank you, Marco. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye bye. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye, everybody. Good night. Take care. Everybody, thank oh, you. Oh, Ileana, stay, 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 okay. stay, 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 Teacher, I have. Um, I want to ask you something about the platform. Okay, now we are alone. Yes, sure. Okay, with in the um, section exercise two, number two point five. Eight. I mm, already okay. solved the sentences but i don't know uh, i don't know how how i have to write the the um, the answers so full answers full full sentences yeah number I one to write if you send sentences. this letter now she will receive it tomorrow uh, i have to uh Okay, I was pressing the that, that blank space and I was like, mm, what I have to do? But okay. That's why you got the box under the sentence. Mm, so you okay. can write it full, okay? Okay, if you... Oh, I just... Mm -hmm. Gave it to you. Copy paste if you want. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me try. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, I'll do it with the the, the rest of the sentences. Yeah, it's very simple, this exercise. Okay, and I was checking to this. My guys is so slow. So small, I'm sorry. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't work for my exam, so I failed. If I work for my exams, I will not fail. This is perfect. I will not have failed my exams if I have studied more. This is great. This is more appropriate. Why? Because look at the, the idea that we have here. Something in the past, something else in the past. Mm -hmm. When you got two ideas that happened in the past, one before the other one, we are using past perfect. Okay. You see? If I had studied more, something that happened in the past before something else happened, I would not have failed my exams. Okay? We have no scissors, so we can cut it well. We will put it well if we had scissors. This is perfect. Okay? Yes. <laughs> because we are talking about present on real. Okay. This is something that will be in the present, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was late to work because he didn't take the taxi. Ah. Something in the past, 
something else in the past. Mm -hmm. So, the most appropriate, the second option. If he had taken a taxi, he wouldn't have been late to work. Right? Right. Mm -hmm. In, why not the first one? If he took a taxi, he would not be late to work because you're talking about uh, something that will be in the present. ¿Cómo le explico? Ahí está diciendo usted algo como que fuera que sucede continuamente. Porque ah, usted, okay. si él tomase un taxi, no llegaría tarde a trabajar, como que es algo recurrente, ¿no? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ok, number four. Peter eats a lot. That's the reason why he is so fat. If Peter ate less, he wouldn't be so fat. This is perfect. ¿Por qué la segunda no? Porque no está hablando de algo que pasó en el pasado. Mm -hmm. right? Exactly. Todo el presente. Okay. In the number five, she is unhappy in her marriage, possible because he doesn't pay her any attention. Which one is the more appropriate? What is the more appropriate? The first one or the second? Uh, if she is unhappy in her marriage, uh, um, the first one, if he pay more attention to her, she will be happier in her marriage. Yes, exactly, because this is present. Okay. Okay. So, what what we use in order to express a present possibility is mm -hmm. the second conditional. Okay. Because its second conditional name is present on real. Something mm -hmm. that could be in the re real in the present if the condition happened. Mm -hmm. Right? Si right. la condición sucediera, el resultado se vería en el presente. Ah, ella podría ser feliz en su matrimonio. ¿Verdad? She will be happier in her marriage. ¿Bajo qué condición? If he paid more attention to her. Ok. Got it? Got it. Yep. Ok. Sorry to have made you stay late. No, no, thank you, teacher. Actually, I wrote it with the, with both type of conditionals because I had um a couple of doubts using the, the conditionals but with now, this explanation, now i am sure now i am sure that if you start reading them again you will realize that there's one that doesn't sound right yeah mm -hmm. yep and that's something that in your level you should try you know when you write something like that and you're in doubt read it out loud you already think in english your mind is going to tell you this sounds okay and this mm, not that okay. Actually, when I was working in this exercise, uh, uh, in my in my office, I was alone in, in the afternoon, so I was reading out loud. Actually, yeah, it helps. In front of my, it's a good my exercise. computer. Mm -hmm. It's a good exercise. Well, Eliana, I don't know if there's any other question. Mm, no, teacher. Just that. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much for having stayed and have a good night. Thank you, teacher. You too. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you, bye.